Hello dear students, I am Sandeep Gaikwad. In this session, I am going to discuss about GSM burst. In the FDMA technology, we have seen that the two carriers that are used for uplink and downlink, they will be always in a pair. So you can understand through this figure, BTS is communicating, communicating to the mobile station on a downlink, whereas mobile station is communicating with the BTS on a uplink. So it will be always in a pair. So this is indicating the channel supported by the carrier and the channel supported by the carrier in the uplink and downlink. So they will be always uh, be in a pair and the space separation of the pair is 45 megahertz. Let us understand if it is uh, the frame structure same. We have seen the carrier in the previous slide, but along the carrier, the time structure is frame structure is going to same on the channel. Now, if it is done at the same time, that it can create a hurdle that we can understand through this figure. We can understand BSS downlink and mobile station uplink. If the time slots are exactly same while transmitting and receiving on the uplink and downlink, then it will create a difficulty. That is what I am trying to explain in this uh, figure over here. It is not at all possible to get it done at the same time. So alignment will be the issue because of the processing delay and the, and the, the distance that signal it is moving from mobile station to the tower or tower to the mobile station. To overcome this problem, a offset of three time slot is provided between downlink and uplink. Let us give a look on it. So over here, 0 to 7, total 8 time slot and it is keep on continuing with the same time frame structure. Let us consider this 5 time slot when it is from BSS to mobile station, it will take three time slot offset. So after three time slot, it will be landing to mobile station. And again from mobile station, it will take around four time slots to reach to the BSS. So downlink to uplink, we can understand here three time slot offset and ultimately because of these three time slot while going as uplink it will take four time slots. So as seen the mobile station does not have to transmit and receive at the same time. This simplifies the mobile station design which can now use only one synthesizer. So this is the defined things which is defined for three time slots. This time slot hierarchy of GSM that we have seen uh, in the logical channels in previous some video. Let us revise it once again. We know this is the TDMA frame structure which consists of one carrier that it is carrying eight different users information and one single user information can be again of point 577 milliseconds. So into it, we will get 4.615 milliseconds. So after each 4.615 millisecond, the frame is going to repeat. Its higher level we have seen, it, it is having a traffic 26 uh, multi frames and control 51 multi frames. So there is a 51 and 26 multi frame combination. It is comprising in one super frame and such 2000 super frames approximately is nothing but one hyper frame. And this is how the bit sequence it will uh, keep on transmitting to its higher level and the communication is getting done. And its time duration is also mentioned here. So around three hours it will take to pass the one hyper frame data. This is the another figure related to it, which is explaining it again uh, so that you can understand it better. This is hyper frame 
these are the super frames which is having a combination of uh, 51 and 26 multi frames so you can understand the traffic channel and the broadcast channels that are supported so this 51 is combined with 26 and this 26 is, is combined with 51 uh, multi frames and again each individual one here it is one complete frame and in one complete frame you can understand one single user's information so this is how the data is continued to the higher level of it in detail as it has shown in the last slide traffic channel multi frames the traffic channel multi frame consists of 26 time slot that 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 already i have shown in the previous slide this multi frame maps the following logical channels so what it consists it is carrying traffic channel slow associated control channel and fast associated control channel while mapping it into the structure pc8 multi frame structure it has mapped like this so you can see 0 to 25 it means total 26 time slots in the traffic channel where the p stands for traffic channel s stands for slow associated control channel i indicating the idle condition of it idle time slot of it here it is on demand accessing fast associated control channel so fast associated control channel is not a located slot in the multi frame it fills pch slot when required indicated by ceiling flag in the normal burst so it is on demand it can appear similarly control channel multi frame if you have to understand this multi frame is form of 51 time slots so control channel multi frame maps the following logical channel on a downlink it is dealing with frequency correction channel synchronization channel and broadcast control channel as well as common control channel which is a nothing but a combination of paging channel and access grant channel while responding on the uplink it is carrying it consists of logical uh, supported a logical channel random access channel so here you can see the mapping of control channel over here so at the zero slot you can see the frequency correction then synchronization broadcast control and common control channel so this sequence it will repeat throughout this 51 time slots so that you can understand and as i mentioned on a downlink it is fcch fch and idle and all these logical channel will support into the downlink whereas in the uplink the random access channel it, it can be in any time in this time slot of 51 it can be land up this is what the one of the figure which we have seen in the uh, previous few logical channel uh, video it is related to burst assessed by logical channel we have seen these logical channels but these logical channels are supported by these five burst i have shown you already these five different bursts and in this session we will see this in detail what are the five different bursts first burst is the synchronization burst frequency correction burst a normal burst a dummy burst and access burst so these bursts are nothing but it is carrying the beat information and this figure it is showing which burst accessed by different which are the different bursts accessed by different logical channels so we can see the link the synchronization burst is associated with synchronization channel frequency correction is only with the frequency correction burst whereas normal burst and dummy burst these are two associated burst normal burst that carrying the user information data related things so common control broadcast paging access grant uh, slow uh, standalone dedicated slow associated fast associated and the real traffic channel can be in connection with normal and dummy burst so if normal single burst is not sufficient then dummy bur burst can uh, associate with the normal and then total uh, sequencing can be added 
random access is associated with access burst. So we will see this again further in detail. What is the GSM burst? Each logical channel is realized by transmission of a specific type of data packet which we call as burst in the assigned time slot. Whereas the frequency correction, synchronization and burst logical broadcast logical channels are sent from the zero time slot of the broadcast carrier together with some other specific quantum channels that I have shown in the last that we will see in the some coming slides. Let us understand what is there in the normal burst. So it is this burst in the time frame, one time uh, frame, it is carrying this detailing. So where it has a guard period, trailer bits, data information, some flat, time sequencing and guard period. So it carries traffic channel and control channels like BCCH, PCH, access grant, standard room dedicated control channel, slow associated control channel and fast associated control channel. In detail according to this structure, data is two blocks of 57 each bits each carries speech, data or control information. Where this trailer bit used to indicate the start and end of each burst, three bits always, 000, we can say. Guard period, it is 8.25 bit long. Receive, the receiver can only receive and decode if the burst is received within the time slot assigned for it. Since the mobile station are moving, exact synchronization of burst is not possibly practically possible practically hence 8.25 bits corresponding to around 30 microseconds is available as guard period for a small margin of error about flag this bit is used to indicate if the 57 bit data block is used as fac channel training sequence this is a set of sequence of bit, bits known by both the transmitter and the receiver. When a burst of information is received, the equalizer searches for the training sequence code. The receiver measures and then mimic the distortion which the signal has been subjected to. The receiver then comprises the received data with the distorted possible transmitted sequence and chooses the most likely one. We will complete the next logical or the frequency correction burst in new session.